Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PGNGM. Praise God to get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Y'all know what time it is. The doctor's in the house. Man, I have some saddening, disappointing, disheartening news, man. You know, I just finished and well, man, excuse me. I just let me let me pop a squat for this. I gotta sit down for this. So hold on. Yeah, we got we got uh we got Kimber right here. What's up, big boy? Yeah, Kimber right here. Look at look, 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 look. There's always one attention. Uh bandits outside right now. But anyway, um so we I just found out, man. Shout out to my supporters that come to the stream, man, the live stream and talk and chop it up with me. I just found out that the fight of the freaking decade, the fight that I anticipate the most, the one that I am just so happy for and, and, and just ready for it to happen, man. Archer better be it versus Dimitri Bivol has been postponed, man. No, please don't. Not like this. Not like this. Oh my gosh, my heart. My heart. My heart hurts. So this fight has been postponed because... Artur Berdebiev has suffered a torn or ruptured meniscus, so his knee is messed up. Now, I will say this. While I am disappointed, I am happy about this. This is the good news. You know, I'm very optimistic, so we got to look for the glass half full. I would much rather... Excuse me. Sorry about that. Uh, that, that, that was unexpected. My bad. <laughs> I would much rather a fighter get injured and make sure and recover and make sure they're fully okay and 100 percent for their fight they come in injured because i remember the fight between sergio martinez and miguel cotto sergio martinez had a lingering i believe it was a knee injury as well right correct me if i'm wrong but he had a lingering knee injury and instead of canceling the fight or postponing it you know uh he went he went he went on with the fight and it just it was a terrible experience for not just the fighters, I'm sure, and Miguel was probably disappointed too. You know, you want your opponent 100, percent but also from 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 a, from a fan standpoint too, man. It just wasn't the fight that everybody anticipated and hoped it would be. So, so this is good that you know, hopefully, you can have a full recovery and then come 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 back and return for for a fight with Bivol and when they're both at at their best. You know what I'm saying? So, um, so it's not all it's not all bad. Yes, we don't have the immediate uh, uh pleasure and 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 and, and um. You know, elation from the fight actually commencing. But guess what? We all there's more good news. We still have the five v five. Of course, the five v five Matthew versus Queensberry stand alone. It, 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 I mean, with with Bivol and Better BF, it's it, it's even better. You know, of course, it's gonna it's gonna be diminished. The intrigue for it, the anticipation for it is gonna be diminished, and enthusiasm for it is gonna be diminished a little bit. But but the five v five is still a great. It's still it's still a great card. You know, what I'm saying I have a lot of great hitters on there, so I'm looking forward to that. Bullshit! Bullshit! And most importantly, though, even more importantly, they're talking about Bivol having a fight in the interim. Now, you know, I just hope I don't know who it could be. You know, I'm trying to think of some light heavyweights right now off the top of my head. Uh, you got Joshua Boatsy maybe step in, Anthony Yard, because Anthony Yard fought better BF. if he did fight Bivol. Um, uh, and there's some other 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 uh, uh, gentlemen there too. You know, in the light heavyweight division. I'm not going. Those, those, those are just ones I thought about at the top of my head. I mean, I don't know if Callum Smith is still fighting. He just fought Cadello. Uh, uh, he he could fight Bivol. He fought better BF, so he could fight Bivol. Um, but the only thing I, I I would say about this is I'm not saying that you know Bivol seems like a warrior, so I don't want to suggest or even or or even imply that he wants a easy fight. But you want to be careful not to have somebody a challenger that's too difficult now because we don't want him to lose. Don't you put that evil on me, Ricky Bobby. Don't you put that on us. <laughs> and derail that 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 that, that uh, future highly anticipated uh, uh, undisputed light heavyweight battle between him and Better Beer. So we got to be a little careful who we match him up with. You know what I'm talking about? So yeah, y'all let me know what y'all think about it. Who do you think Bivol should fight in the interim? Uh, are you disappointed? I, I, I know, I know, everybody's disappointed. That's the kind of uh, 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 that question doesn't even need to be asked. But y'all let me know how y'all feel about this, man. I'm, I'm hurt, but at the same time. I just wish Archer better be a full recovery, and and hopefully we'll see him in the room, in, in, in the room, in the ring at a, at a later date. Man, I appreciate y'all rocking me as always. Remember, with God, we can do anything without God, we are nothing. Peace. The doctor's out. From the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.